Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land House. In today's hydraulic ram pump video, I'm going to be talking about the delivery pipe. This is the pipe that takes water from the pump to wherever you're going to be storing or using your water. Just as with the drive pipe, this pipe can be made out of steel or PVC, or in this case, black flex tubing. So it's not quite as important that this be rigid as it was with the drive pipe. So you may have the question of what size delivery pipe to use. Uh, in our setup, we're gonna be using a half inch ram pump. So does that mean we should use a half inch delivery pipe to match our drive pipe? Or should we use something like this one inch pipe? Or maybe even a one quarter? It's smaller than the drive pipe. Well, it doesn't really matter because atmospheric pressure is the same no matter what size pipe you use. So let's say I had a half inch pipe that goes to the bottom of a 4,000 gallon tank. This pump still has the power to lift that water in that 4,000 gallon tank and overflow. That being said, um, you can use any of these size pipes and it'll be the exact same output no matter what size it is. That being said, the factor that affects most people with their delivery pipe is the cost. So if I had the chance to use a one inch pipe or a half inch pipe, I could save some money by going with a smaller pipe. I'm going to go ahead and attach this delivery pipe to our ram pump. That should be good enough for this example here. Now that the delivery pipe has been attached to the pump, which is right here, it then follows along the creek bed some, and then I have it approximately 10 feet above where the pump is located. So you can see it comes through this tree, around here, and then out here. And this point is about 10 feet above the creek. Whenever you install your delivery pipe, you have to consider something known as back pressure. That's the pressure of the water pushing back down on the ram pump. And without this back pressure, the pump will push all the water out and lose pressure. So the pipe has to be hanging high enough to maintain that back pressure. So in this setup, this 10 foot above the creek should be fine. And generally, if you have between one and five feet of head, anywhere between uh, 10 and 20 feet um, above the pump is enough back pressure to keep it going. So if you're trying to pump water 10, 20, or 30 feet vertical, there's not a lot of back pressure at this point. Now, if you're trying to pump water, say, 60, 70, or 80 feet vertical, there's gonna be a significant amount of back pressure. And this can actually cause the pump to reduce some of its efficiency. And there is a workaround this. That is with a one-way spring check valve, kind of like this one right here. What this does is it goes in line with your delivery pipe. And as water is pushed through the valve, it then comes back and rests on the valve and doesn't rest all the way back down at the pump. Now an example of this in nature would be a giraffe. Their necks are very long and their hearts operate somewhat like the ram pump as far as it's a pulsing. And so blood is pulsed up the neck of the giraffe and then one-way valves prevent that blood from coming back down. And uh, so it's pretty much the same principle as putting this valve in your delivery pipe. So where along your delivery pipe would you install this one-way check valve? The answer varies um, from setup to setup, but I would say somewhere in the middle. A couple more thoughts on the delivery pipe. The horizontal distance that you can run a delivery pipe is only limited to the friction inside the pipe. So some people have even gone a mile with their delivery pipes. The thing that gets you is your vertical distance because of atmospheric pressure back on the pump. 
Well, this concludes the video on the delivery pipe for the hydraulic ram pump. A few things we've learned. The material that this pipe is made from can be steel or PVC or black flex tube. It's not as important that this is rigid like the drive pipe. You can use a one-way spring check valve to aid the back pressure on the pump. The horizontal distance that this pipe is run is affected by the friction of the tube. Some people can pump water over a mile. The horizontal lift is uh, affected or limited by the atmospheric pressure. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House. Be sure to comment and like the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.